So what are you cooking today, babe? We are obviously cooking something with a mountain pan, but um, my own version of cornbread muffins. I'm mm. kind of testing it out because I didn't want to use egg because I didn't have any egg. So I was like, how can I do this? So I kept testing and you know what? We like it. So we're going to put it up for y'all. And my kitchen looks different. If you guys follow me. It's uh, rental right now. We sold our home. Okay, but we're gonna get into this. So we're gonna put in some white flour. Let's see. A cup of that. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. That should be. I haven't done my muffin pants yet. I've been doing bread. We're good. We're good, guys. Okay, and then we're gonna do this is cornmeal, regular cornmeal, um, nothing added to it because um, we already put flour in. So we're gonna do a cup of that. Yeah, that's a cup. I guess if you were gonna do the premix, um, well, honestly, I don't know why you would, <laughs> because it adds the flour and it adds flour that I don't like. That's the reason why I don't use premix. Enriched bleached flour. Look, I have a, I have a little thing right over here. <laughs> My last kitchen, I had to go walk over across the kitchen. Um, so now we're gonna put in some sugar, but I use um, organic cane sugar. I like cane sugar. It's a little less sweet and it's better for you. But we're gonna put in a quarter cup. And let's see. Coarse baking powder. I want them to rise. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of that. Um, baking soda. We're doing a half a teaspoon of that. And then salt. And we're doing a quarter teaspoon of that. And that is it for all the dry ingredients. These are our wet ingredients right here. <laughs> That's so easy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mix it all up. I'll get all these ingredients mixed up with all the flour, and baking powder, and the sugar. Make sure all that sometimes baking soda wants to clump, so yeah, make sure you mix that out of there. If you had a little whisk, it would probably be do better, but I don't have one. Okay. That. So all that's, and then we're gonna put in our wet ingredients. Okay, so we got this all mixed up. Forgot to start the oven. Bake at 400. Mm. It's not just me turning around y'all anymore. <laughs> Start. I have to walk across before I just turned around. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go watch my earlier videos. <laughs> okay, so we have a half a cup of melted butter. I'm swirling it because this is real butter. Don't use margarine, don't cheat yourself. Use real butter. And you put that in there. Oh. Love and real then, butter. I use box milk because my other milk was rotting too fast. So. We don't really drink that much milk. No. So we're gonna put in a, um, a cup. Let's see. 
No, I can't see the cup. There it is. <laughs> I don't add it with the um, the butter until after I put the butter in here because it just will start curdling, kind of like what it is doing now. It's like buttered milk now. Mm-hmm. And then you put that in there. Buttered milk biscuits. Kind of. That's what it reminds me of, kind of like a buttermilk type flavor. And now I'm going to mix this up. The lighting was so much better in our other kitchen. The food tastes just as good. Now that's that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Now that all this is mixed up, I'm going to start dropping it in here. I'm gonna get a spoon. That way I don't make a big mess. So we buttered this, just a thin layer, very thin layer, you know, of butter. And um, this is already starting to puff out. It's because it's got um, a baking powder in it. So we are going to start putting some stuff in here to make muffins. But that's what I'm saying, that, that these don't pour. They're kind of like a, a drop biscuit, you know, where you don't have to knead, I mean, roll them out or anything. But it's not like um, when you make the cornbread and it's really, really liquidy. See, they're already um, starting to rise. And so I'm trying to get them in here as fast as possible. Let's see. These are actually really good if you like want to throw them on like these dumplings on top of like a casserole and then bake them. We've done that too. Pretty good. Today we're just making muffins. Kind of like a biscuit muffin, but in a muffin pan. And I just want to make sure they're all got their fair share. Don't want to leave nothing. Might have to give some to our neighbor. Because I think this is too many for us. We <laughs> used to feed a family. We don't anymore. Empty nesters. I'm just trying to make sure that they, you know, rise up a little bit. Okay. These are going to go in the oven as soon as that is ready. <whistles> oh, it's ready. Okay. So we're going to put these in for at 400 degrees. And we're going to start out with 20 minutes. We may need 25, I'm not sure yet. That oven has no light in it. Nope. It's an old school oven, y'all. I miss my other oven, but this one will do. Okay, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's about to go off. I brought them, look. <laughs> Oh, trusty. There we go. So we only did 20 minutes. Um, let me just cancel that. And let's see. We got some crispies going on. We got some browning going on. And I had to put this down because I used to have granite. Well, <laughs> you, can't, you can't put this on this. This is a different countertop. So. I had to put some hot pads down. Oh, guys, look at them. 
Oh, they smell good. Oh, yeah. Smell a vision, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, see, they, these are my version of cornbread without any egg. Um, just very simple. A lot of recipes that you see out there have like egg and buttermilk and just a bunch of stuff that I just think is too expensive. So I um, worked on this and they're good. They they're, are good. they're denser. They're not like fluffy, they're denser, which is kind of like a dumpling almost like to me. But, you know, I'm not gonna touch it because it's too hot. But these are, you know, they grow into muffins. And um, yeah, so if you like what I'm doing, go check out all my other recipes from our old house. I have a ton of them. This is my first recipe in this house. So go check me out over there. Um, short term we do a lot of yeah this is just a short term rental but we do a, we have a lot of um, chicken recipes and um, easy meals pastas uh, sides sauces cheese balls did I miss anything I think I did Rock pot, like, potato recipes holiday meals yeah tons um, go check us out over there I mean well here you're just gonna see a different kitchen Okay, anyways. Anyways, um, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, we're probably gonna let these cool down a little bit, and then I'm gonna get some tomato. Mm -hmm. Likes my cooking. <laughs>